Hi, my name is Paul Wynn, and I'm a web developer on the Technical Business Development Team at Palo Alto Networks. Today I'm going to walk you through our Curator application. This is a view of Curator's main dashboard. Natively, Curator will automatically detect and parse Palo Alto Network firewall logs, which will populate this dashboard with some useful time charts and tables of events in real time. With the app installed, we can do much more with our logs. The app includes a new offensive rule, which is triggered on a wildfire malicious event. Wildfire is a dynamic malware detection feature in our firewall. It leverages the wildfire cloud, which executes and analyzes a file's behavior in order to detect if it is a malicious file or not. When the firewall detects a file is being downloaded, it will query wildfire to determine if it is malicious or not. Known malicious files will be blocked by the firewall. But what if the file has never been seen before? The firewall will allow it through and upload the file to Wildfire Cloud to begin analyzing the file. Within five minutes, Wildfire will return a verdict. It is in this use case where we have created an offensive rule. If the file came back malicious by Wildfire, and we know this file was let through the firewall, an offensive event has been created and now displayed on the dashboard. A security operations analyst can now take action. To investigate further, they can click on the offense and get more information. The rule can also be edited in QRadar to automate an action. Here is a view of the Palo Alto Networks application. The first dashboard presented is the Wildfire dashboard. The Wildfire dashboard allows us to see an overview of all Wildfire event logs from the firewall based on duration. We're able to see Wildfire verdicts, top users downloading malware, top malicious files being downloaded, and top sources. We can narrow or widen our time frame at any time by changing the duration in this dropdown. On the Threats dashboard, we get an aggregated view of all threat events from the Palo Alto Network's firewall. As different type of threat logs are seen by Curator, they are displayed in this first panel. We get a total count for each type of threat seen in the past hour. The next panel shows top users, top threats by name and ID, and the top sources of the threats. To investigate further, all charts are clickable to switch over to the Log Activity tab and view each relevant event. From here, we can dive even deeper to get all fields parsed as well as raw logs. With the Palo Alto Networks app, we are parsing several new fields. All custom properties have a prefix of PANW. From the advanced search, you can type PANW to get a list of custom properties. This will allow you to create custom searches or correlate data with other log types in QRadar. This concludes the overview of the Palo Alto Networks app for QRadar. We hope you enjoy the app and thanks for watching.